I was stupid. Um, that's the first thing I say after my accident. I was completely stupid without a halo. I would be dead. Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I want to speak about safety in motorsports. It all started in 94, post Rattenberger and Elton Senna's accident in Imola over one weekend where really the drivers got involved and safety became more important in uh, Formula One. I'm pretty sure there's uh, things that you can learn today. Please, as always, subscribe, comment, ask me more questions. I'm happy to talk about it. I want to start with carbon. Uh, carbon has been part of racing for quite a long time, actually. Motor uh, initially there were tube frames, uh, steel tubes frames, and then I'm not sure when, but 90s, definitely uh, Formula One became a carbon chassis. Carbon doesn't bend. Carbon either breaks, either resists, but carbon doesn't break. It's, it's a very light material. It is very strong. It's made of sheets of carbon, but behind the sheets there's like a honey comb kind of material and there's a lot of different type of carbons so for example a chassis is very thick and strong carbon but if i take i mean that's that's quite a whole that's my uh that's 2007 formula 3 euro series champion and i got given that by the mechanic at the end of the year but I, the way i wanted to explain to you so it's it's all carbon but because that is not a structural part inside here you can see that there's actually some like polystyrene to make it very very light it doesn't need to be structurally strong because it's not part of the chassis so that's kind of one type of carbon where you do use the carbon in the outside but inside you put some some light material obviously as i say that is 2007 that's that's 15 years ago that was a good example of how you can use carbon in a way and then in a chassis it's very different more recently into uh, into formula one uh, and different type of racing some panel were inserted within the carbon in the chassis those panels are very 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 strong. They here in case there's a T-boon. T-boon is probably one of the worst angle that you can hit a car. The cars are made that inside the side pods there are some structural carbon speeds that take the energy if you crash laterally against the wall. Obviously if it's another car coming towards you and, and hitting you uh, at a 90 degrees angle in the chassis that's pretty bad because then you know there's much less material to uh, get the energy out of it. No, the cars are very super hyper strong uh, in, in that aspect for sure. In IndyCar, Sebastian Bode, Indy 500 qualifying, I believe it was 2017, had a pretty severe crash, broke his hips. Cars have been made stronger on the chassis so the chassis cannot collapse on itself. As I say, carbon doesn't bend. Carbon either breaks, it is so in one piece, but when it breaks, obviously it breaks. It is one of the most incredible material that we can use. I wish I knew to do carbon. But anyway, uh, chassis are made in carbon since quite a lot of years now. Then obviously another thing that is very important for drive is helmet. Helmets, that my first race helmet. Um, actually never raced with it, but look, inside there's almost no foam. Um, I can, if I push it, I can actually bend it. It is pretty heavy, very, very big. Uh, visor but actually quite a small opening back in the days but a big visor uh, visor is just a piece of plastic but when the helmet hits the, the headrest there's some energy going to the foam and then the rest of the energy goes into those uh, foam so they're very important that the helmet is fixed it's not moving in the car for example on ovals we've put some we put some extra padding into the cockpit obviously one of them is to support your neck because you always turn left so imagine that the left side of the neck is going to be really tired at the end of the race but also in case of an impact you really want the helmet not to move then there's been gloves gloves uh is obviously a big advancement we have no biometric gloves in formula one where you can track your heart rate and your uh, oxygen level in blood oxygen level so the doctor straight away can have contact with the gloves and they know you still have you know enough oxygen in your blood if the heart rate is still going that gives them a first really good indication obviously gloves after my accident in Bahrain 2020 became stronger so they're a bit more they're a bit thicker now uh, but they resist longer to the fire making gloves is a big challenge because you want them to be as thin as possible to get a really good feel of the steering wheel but you want them to resist to fire and I'm well positioned to to talk about that one so uh gloves have been improved after my accident in bahrain i don't know if it's funny but race suit also the regulation changed before 2020 where the race suit had to uh, last longer into the flames i believe it's about 20 seconds for the race suit to, to stand the fire i stayed 28 seconds in the fire and it didn't move at all so the race suit actually worked really well the gloves were designed for seven seconds i think now it's 11 seconds I think there is room for improvement there. Definitely race suit are very strong. On top of the race suit, we've got a pyjama underneath where you have to put, uh, it's long sleeves and, and 
socks and trousers under your race suit that are also fireproofed. I believe the latest rules from the FIA are a bit, uh, a bit of a joke, the fact that you cannot drive with your ring. I mean, where I've got my wedding ring, it's probably the place where I didn't get burned, so I got burned burn here, I got burned here, but where I had my wedding ring, I didn't get burned. So I don't really know, but anyway, none of my business, I would say, anymore. Uh, but yes, I think a wedding ring, ring, you should be able to keep it. And obviously one of the latest, biggest improvement in motorsport is the Halo. So Halo in Formula One, aero screen in IndyCar, they do kind of the same thing. Uh, the aero screen is, I think, better on ovals, just because of that very, very high speed, any small piece, flying through your chest or your helmet or your neck or whatsoever can be pretty devastating. On road course and street course, the Halo, it's very warm in the car. And so on the Halo, I was against it when it uh, it was proposed for Formula One. I thought it was completely, you know, changing the look and the way Formula One was designed and the, and the fact that you couldn't see the helmet of the driver anymore. I was stupid. Um, that's the first thing I say after my accident. I was completely stupid with the Halo. I will be dead. We just had the Japanese Grand Prix. Japanese Grand Prix for me will always be two things. The most beautiful track around the world and the accident of Gilles Bianchi. Um, so, you know, kind of opposite feelings. But the accident of Gilles Bianchi saved my life. So Jules saved my life in Bahrain because uh, we, we, if it wasn't for the Halo, I wouldn't be here anymore. And I wouldn't be uh, doing those videos for you guys. So. Uh, I guess uh, that was a good thing. Well, I hope it was a good thing and you're happy and enjoying the video. So Halo has been a big thing. Obviously, it's a lot of, it's a lot of weight on the car. It's not the most best looking piece on the racing car. I do agree with that. There are rooms to make it thinner. Uh, they're working on that. Uh, it's gonna get better through the years. But personally, I would not jump on the car that doesn't have a Halo or a roof or a rolling cage or something like that that would protect my head. So the last thing is a tether. Tether are here to hold the parts, not flying. So on ovals and needy car is very important. On a big shunt, you don't want the wings. And obviously, uh, there's been some accident where the front wing flew uh, from and, and hit another driver. I think it was Justin Wilson that died that way, uh, very, very tragically. So now it's tether for everything. Also in Formula One for, to hold the suspension and the wheels so the parts can fly and hit a marshal, hit another car. So I think we went through uh, pretty much all the biggest safety improvement of the last few years. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm more than happy to answer and I'll see you very soon for more videos. Bye bye.